Hey guys, this is Matt Lotspeech here, pastor of Hudson River Community Church in Poughkeepsie, New York, and uh, assistant pastor at Vassar Road Baptist Church in Poughkeepsie as well. Vassar is the uh, sending church for the church plant, Hudson River Community Church. I just want to share a, an update and a prayer request for you guys at um, Jasper First Baptist because when I was doing the um, message yesterday, I don't change shirts in a quarantine too much, you know, so this is a different shirt, so a different day. Um, I didn't talk about uh, the COVID and what, where we are with that and everything. So I uh, just wanted to give you an update. Uh, in New York State, um, the number, this could be wiggled a little bit. I think I, the number is from yesterday, but over 250,000 people um, have been te have tested positive for the coronavirus in New York State and Dutchess County, where we are, 2,331. And with the town of P Poughkeepsie, not the city, but the town of Poughkeepsie, where we live, is uh, 300 have tested positive. Um, 300,000 people in Dutchess County and about 35-ish in um, the town of Poughkeepsie with, it, with the same number in, within the city. So now how, Vassar Road, just a few miles down the road, uh, Vassar Road Baptist. But and we come from all over, um, not just Poughkeepsie, different, um, different county, different edges, ends of the county. Um, three, uh, yeah, two different counties. Anyway, um, roughly 10% of an average attendance for a Sunday morning have tested positive for the coronavirus at Vassar Road Baptist. And so um, those are all prayers, uh, requests. Um, we have a couple people do that would uh, uh, certainly need your prayers specifically. So if you just pray for the um, lift up those ladies as they recover, they're on the road to recovery, but it's not out of the woods at all. Um, so pray for them and for us as we minister. Um, so this is a, an update. Something, some things that HRCC, the Hudson River Community Church, is doing. We are um, delivering uh, groceries uh, when that opportunity arises, and we just go to the grocery store. You know, mask on and everything, and of course, and then dropping those groceries off at off at someone's door. And um, we might talk to them through a window or something, but as we've done that um, for people in our community that the county actually sends our way as we're teaming up. And then um, just people that we, that we know we try to help out with um, however that we can and have been able to do that. So just pray for uh, HRCC and VRBC both that we would um, be able um, to meet needs in the community, safely do that and um, give glory to Christ and point people to him um, during this time. Another prayer request would be that we, our small group would continue to develop. Before we um, stopped, um, due to the, the pandemic, we were having 15 to 16 people in our small group, which was up from eight to 10 um, last year. And so um, praising God for that, so you stop for months at a time, not having a lot of weeks together. It's difficult, but we are, of course, keeping uh, in touch with everyone um, throughout the week. It's just uh, So pray for us as we continue to uh, move forward with that and, and, and for them and everything that they have going on. So recap, some, a lot of people who are um, struggling due, due to the coronavirus and then pray, so pray for them, pray for VRBC and HRCC as we minister to our friends and or members of VRBC or, or friends and uh, um, people we're trying to reach through uh, Hudson River. And um, pray for the, the development of our small group that we would be able to uh, bring in new people through this time, that we would be able to reach people through resources such as devotionals that we're putting on our Facebook page. And so pray for um, us in that, that that would be a way God, God could use this time to not only solidify our ministry with those we're serving, but to um, uh, reach new people and uh, 
the reach new people begin to reach new people we see other we do see new people engaging through those um, new local people engaging through those resources on our Facebook page those devotionals so that's how you can pray for us um, and the last thing you can do you um, we would like you to subscribe to our YouTube page and so if you can follow the link through um, uh, the Church Plant Facebook page. Go to it, click subscribe, and if we get to 100 subscribers, we're a ways away, but if we get to 100 subscribers, we can have our own YouTube page. It makes it a little bit easier to um, and clear to send stuff out. Anyway, thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your partnership as a church, and um, we love you and are thankful for you, so um, pray that you'll be blessed um, or we're blessed, depending on um, when it is that you've heard our time in the Word together from Romans 15. But from Lindsay, Samuel, and Barker, we love you. We'll th we're thankful for you and just ask you to continue to pray for us. And may God be with you as you serve where he has planted you um, so that he might get the glory. I know you're doing a, a good job and have a heart for your community. So praise the Lord.